Okay, here we are. This is New Rock Colliery. We've come down off the um, batch um, after exploring that. We're in actually where the colliery area is now. Now, looking at the old picture, this area here, this is where the shaft was, and this area here, that's the batch behind. Um, that's one of the original buildings. I think that was the offices. There's the old retaining wall. So that's the boundary. And if you like that blue uh, van, Celitec. But yeah, so that's this area here. This is where the um, shaft was. Now, just we'll walk past up here. We've just been at the top there. Now the incline, but we're definitely, by looking down here, that definitely was the incline. Here, where this active robot is, that was the boiler house. Um, that's where the chimney is, where the chimney was. So that's the boiler house and the reservoir. And there was a row of buildings along where that number six unit is. There's a row of buildings along here. There's a row of buildings along there as well. Now that looks like it was a stores. I think that's them steps we've just found. That is part of the stores building. You see, this is the original. Name of the brick? No. So yeah, this is New Rock Colliery. New Rock Colliery, though it was the site of the latest and probably the last big mining development that Somerset will ever see, remained relatively unnoticed outside the area. Its closure in 1968 marked the end of mining in the lower coal seams and the end of mining in the area of Somerset in which it had started. In 1964, the problem of labour shortage was apparent throughout the coalfield and more especially at New Rock, which was away from the main centres of population. Increasing labour difficulty, difficulties, coupled with the disadvantage of transporting coal by road, meant that New Rock's future began to look increasingly black. The pit made bad losses in the first months of 1968. The decision was taken to close the two shafts and cease coal, winding on the 28th of September 1968. A start was immediately made on salvaging reusable materials or items with a worthwhile scrap value and the men were transferred to Kilmerston and Rivlington to help remedy labour shortages there. By June 1969 the colliery was completely closed. Hi, right, so this is New Rock Batch. Um, yeah, it's a big one. This uh, telephone antenna is on top of the batch. So yeah, it's hard work getting up. Got some got bits of coal. And the slag ain't really little bits. Oh yeah, um, this is New Rock uh, Bat, um, New Rock Colliery, 
um, the, was it Evis, Evis the farmer who does Glastonbury or set up Glastonbury Festival he um, he was a miner here so to subsidise obviously uh, his farm um, it's quite famous okay so I reckon that picture that's looking down towards where the picture was taken this is kind of like I reckon this was an incline I'm with um, Ian he's one of the subscribers who come out with me today to have a look around but yeah so we think we found this is where the incline came onto the, onto the batch it just seems so obvious we thought we found some rail but I think it's just an old metal pipe Okay, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, so that's new rock colliery. Next, we're going to go to more wood colliery, which is quite interesting actually. Um, so that'd be a, a good one to, to look out for. Uh, thanks to Ian for coming out with me. It was great to have someone come around and help me find um, things uh, to do with the colliery. So yeah, I'll see you again soon on the uh, Somerset Coalfield. Take care and go explore.